Our issue is rape laws. Hi, my name is Martha. Hi, I'm Scarlett. Hi, I'm Lily. I'm Shailene. And I'm Jennifer. I'm calling now for Jennifer. <laughs> and calling now for her. I'm calling. What issues of inequalities are they focused on, and how did it affect that minority group? Okay. So we're focusing on the issue of rape laws, and sadly, rape has always been around, affecting mostly women. And in fact, it makes up like women make up 82% of rape victim, juvenile rape victims, and 90% of adult victims. Uh, this issue came about because I. It's of the portrayal of women in society and how we're seen mostly as objects. And the lack of control that we have over our, over our bodies, I feel like, makes it difficult for us to be taken seriously in society. <coughs> Who was fighting in the civil rights movement? When and where did they begin their civil rights fight for inequality? Women all around the U.S. were involved in the civil rights movement of rape laws. Many of the female anti-rape activists came from the civil rights, free speech, peace, and black power movements. In the 19... <laughs> in the 1700s, women began to realize how powerless they were to men. And possibly the first to break the silence about rape were the African-American women who were victims of gang rape by white men in May 1866 at the Memphis Riot. From there, they testified before the Congress, and more and more women began to speak up. What tactics did they use in the past to fight this issue of inequality? The tactics women used were creative. Women started to organize marches, such as the Take Back the Night March in 1978, in which 50,000 women came together from 30 states. A few other tactics were anti-rape education and public confrontations. During these confrontations, women would confront and hold a man accountable in public settings. How did the makeup focus of the movement change over time? So, in the beginning, the purpose of the movement was to kind of bring awareness to the issue and talk about, like, how it was actually a violation against women because I think at the time, it was seen more as like, oh, like, you know, the, wo the woman is supposed to please the husband. So, it was something that took place more often. Therefore, it was seen as something, like, normal. So, and I feel like, as women began to like fight for their rights and realize that that it wasn't okay that they started to bring more awareness to the issue and then I feel like now it's seen as something that like is wrong so I feel like now it's more about like making actual change and how to make it so that the problem is avoided yeah. who was involved in the beginning versus now so in the beginning, women who participated in the civil rights, free speech, peace, and black power movement were involved. But modern day, it's not only women who um, are fighting against anti-rape laws, it's um, men, college students, and the NCAA. The tactics change over time. Um, the way their tactics changed over time was that women started using a lot of social media, um, such as the hashtag MeToo. And what is that? So the hashtag MeToo is um, where women would use that hashtag and give like descriptions, little stories about um, how they face sexual harassment or sexual abuse. That's very interesting. <laughs> um, another thing that they covered in um, social media was the carry the weight movement, where college students would carry around mattresses around campus so that to make a point, because um, their colleges weren't doing anything about um, the sexual abuse that was happening on campus. So they would do that so that the sexual abuser would get expelled or leave. Another thing that women did was that they participated in the Women's March in Washington, D.C. in 2017 in various locations. Okay, sorry. What's the issue today and how can we eradicate the issue of inequality in the future? The issue today is that rape victims aren't really taken seriously and that rapists are giving are given a minimal sentence and they let them go with probation instead of making them face jail time. Um, I think like in the future we could give them more sentencing so and we could have more attention to this crime. Consent is simple. If you're still having trouble understanding consent, think of sex and offering someone a glass of water. Uh, water? No. Dude, I poured it for you. Take mm -hmm. the water. No. Just take the water. I don't want your water.
If she doesn't want water, don't give her water. <laughs> hey, Libby, can I get you any water? Yeah. All right, I'll be right back. Here you go. I don't want water no more. Why not? I don't want water. Just no take more. it. I don't want water. Would you like anything to drink? Heck yeah, I want some water. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. This is okay. This is how you know she wants water. Really? Would you like some water? Yes. All right. Well, she said she wanted water, so I guess. If she's unconscious, don't give her water, even if she said yes. Before.